It only cuts on the flat plane where the blades are. So when I serve this up, So if you want to do something with a template, like a, a Windsor Ferris seat, you cut out your template to match the shape that you want, clamp it to your block, and then you can set this up against your template and be able to carve in shape so they're all going to be exactly the same shape. This is a mini turbo. It's on a two and a half inch extension, two tungsten carbide teeth, and a CNC machine tool steel disc that they're mounted to. Okay, mounts on any standard four or four and a half inch angle grinder. And as far as the uh, tool, they work the same as the big one. And once you're finished with your carving, you can take the cutting disc off, put the sanding disc on it, you can sand and finish all with the same tool. Comes with a shaft, the soft cushion sanding pad, and it comes with a number of different grips of sanding paper. I've got a 600 grip sandpaper on there right now. The way the random orbital sander works is it's spinning here, but it's center balanced, and it's offset here so that this spins freely of the shaft. It just sits and vibrates. It won't cause any damage, but when you put it on the paint, on the wood, it's moving like a random orbital sander, so. You're gonna start with a template. You draw your template out. I bandsawed the shape out on a bandsaw. Then I drew a few lines on it. So I took and I drew the line around the underside as to how far I wanted these, this under lip to go. Then I used the four inch Arbortech turbo plane and hollowed this area out with the turbo plane on both sides, clamping this to the bench so that it stayed put while I did the carving. Then I flipped it over, drew another line where I wanted my hollow to stop. So I drew a line around the outside of it, used the turbo plane to hollow out the inside and then used it again to round out the outside edge of it. And then went to the sanders and started sanding it after that.